In this video, we're going to solve a special type of equation, uh, a proportion. So as you can see here, we have um, an equation because there's equal sign and there's uh, unknown x. And this equation is very special because the left-hand side is a ratio, something over something. And the right-hand side is also ratio, 3 to 7. So a ratio equals a ratio. This is what we call a proportion. And since the proportion of any proportion has this property that cross products are equal, so we can multiply um, um, diagonally and they're going to be equal to each other. So we're going to uh, multiply x times 7. That gives us uh, uh, 7x. Well, you can move 7 because multiplication has the commutative property. But you can leave it as it is, x times 7. And then 8 times 3. So left to top times right bottom equals left bottom times right top. And now uh, we're gonna uh, I moved the seven and put it in front of x because usually we like to write numbers uh, put numbers before ver letters variables. So eight times three get, gives us twenty four. So now in order to get rid of seven and notice we reverse the multiplication and we do division we divide both sides by seven. So that's how we get um, the answer with. 24 over 7 because 7 cancels 7. Because 7 divided by 7 we gives us 1, but anything times 1 will be the cell. Okay, and so let's look at another uh, equation. This one is a little bit longer, but we can recognize that the left hand side it's still a ratio. That there's a top something to something. And the right hand side is also a ratio. As you can see, it's a it looks like a fraction. Something to something. So since both sides are ratio and these two ratio are equal to each other, we call this a proportion. Again, a proportion has a property that cross products are equal to each other. So we are going to oops, sorry, we're going to cross multiply and I'm going to do the left to top times the right bottom, so x minus 3 times 2. Don't forget the top, we have to make sure we put them in a box, a pair of parentheses to uh, this, because we have to multiply the ent entire top times the entire bottom. So same thing, we have to do the left to bottom times the right top. And again, the right top has bo both x and minus 5 in there, so we have to make sure we put them in a pair of parentheses to indicate they are together. Okay, now... To uh, solve this equation, we have already talked about this in previous examples. So we're going to have to get rid of parentheses to get all the x's out of the parentheses, just like you are unpacking everything from the boxes. And we are, we're going to use the distributive property. So we distribute 2 to x and distribute 2 to negative 3. And for the right hand side, we're going to distribute 4 uh, into everything in the box. So we're going to have 4x times um, and 4 times negative 5. So after that, we have to combine these two x's. And in order to do that, we're going to um, get rid of one of the terms with the x's. So I'm going to get rid of 2x by subtracting 2x from both sides. And now I'm going to have um, these two cancel out. And we have bring down negative 6. And 4x minus 2x gives us 2x combining like terms. And negative 20, we didn't do anything, so we bring down. So now I am going to have to get x by itself. And I have to get rid of this number. I have to get rid of that number. So first, uh, we're going to get rid of minus 20. And we talked about this in previous videos. This is a, a quicker way. And then getting rid of 2 first. And then we're going to cancel out negative 20 and a positive 20. And so we're only left with a 2x. And negative 6 plus 20, that gives us positive 14. So remember, whatever operation you do to one side, you must do it the same thing to the other side. Notice that um, I did, um, I, I subtracted 2x from both sides, adding 20 from both sides. Finally, in order to get rid of that 2, we divide both sides by 2. So we get end up with the 7 equals x. If you don't like x being on the right-hand side, you can switch to the left and right, and you get x equals 7.